G'day everyone, Tim from the vMix here. Today we're looking at how to output an NDI source from vMix with Alpha. This can be really handy if you want to use vMix as an NDI titler or even as an overlay machine. Now some people use all of the features of vMix to create their live video production and others use some parts here and there. So we think it's a pretty versatile tool for all kinds of video productions because you never know when a vMix might come in handy for something. Now, if you want to try out some of those features, you can download a free 60-day trial at vMix.com. Now, if you're looking for a way to key and fill output from vMix via a capture card so that you could use it in a hardware switcher, check out the key fill video that's linked in the description. Now it's fairly simple to output via NDI from vMix. All versions of vMix will allow you to have one output, which is typically going to be your program output, along with all of your individual cameras, audio inputs and outputs, and vMix calls. With vMix Pro and Max, you have the option of sending an additional three mixed outputs for a total of four. So for this example today, I'm simply going to be sending a lower third from my laptop right here, into my vMix production that I'm filming this tutorial on. So this from this laptop to this computer right here. And for those that prefer a diagram, I have my laptop here with vMix running and I'm going to be sending a title with transparency over to my other vMix computer so I can overlay that on my production. Now I've got vMix Pro on this laptop, but you could do what I'm doing today with vMix Basic HD, which is $60 US one-time payment. All right, so I'm going to jump over to my laptop now and set up a production so I can send over the title. So firstly, I'm going to add a title into this production so I can send it. So firstly, I'm going to go to add input title, and then I'm going to select this title here and then give it a headline. All right, so now I've got my title in my production. Now in order to use all the functionality of the overlay, and the titles transition in and out, I actually need to be able to overlay this title onto another input. Now, because I want a transparent background, I need to add a transparent input into vMix to overlay it onto. So hopefully that makes sense uh, as I show you what I'm doing. So I go to add input, and then I go to color, and then I select transparent and click OK. So if I move that to the program output, essentially I'm now just sending a transparent NDI source out onto the network. Then when I overlay my title, the only thing that you'll see is the title that appears. So now that I've got my content in my production that I want to send out via NDI, I need to go ahead and turn on my NDI outputs. So what I'm going to do is go to the settings and then go down to outputs, NDI, SRT right here. Now, a quicker way to do this is to go down here to the gear icon next to external and then click on NDI outputs and SRT down there. So it's the same screen, just a slightly quicker way to get there. Okay, so I'm going to be sending out output one today, which is gonna be my main program output, which will have my transparent layer and my title. Firstly, I just need to make sure that I turn that layer on. So I've got my first output on, as you can see, it's gone green now. And then I'm gonna go into the settings of that by clicking the little gear icon. You'll see that we now have an alpha channel here that we can select. So I'm going to select straight from the alpha channel here. Now straight will work when we go from vMix to vMix. So you wanna select straight for the option that we're doing today. vMix on the other end will then pre-multiply it and then apply it to the uh, production. If you have a different NDI hardware or software, just check to see what sort of alpha it requires. It may work with straight, it may require pre-multiplied before getting to it. So just check the settings for your NDI software or hardware to make sure that you've selected the right one here. Now once that's done, I'm going to click OK and I'm going to click OK down the bottom. So our laptop here is set up ready to go with NDI outputting. Now we need to go back to vMix here and add it as an input. So we're gonna go down to add input then I'm gonna to go to NDI, and I'm going to select this laptop here, which is this Tough 22 laptop. And as you can see, you've got the checkerboard there, meaning that Alpha is currently coming through. So I'm gonna click OK. Now, in order to use this permanently, what I like to do is select one of my overlay channels and just leave it on. So my channel one is a full screen permanent overlay. So if I leave that on number one, it means that any time an NDI signal comes in, it's just going to overlay that onto channel one. 
And that's really handy because it's always on. It just means every time I send something from the laptop, it'll always appear as I want it to. Now you could also add it as a layer as well if you wanted to, but I'm going to use it in overlay channel one. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to my laptop and I'm going to overlay my title onto my transparent input here. And then that is going to display in my main vMix production. So let's go ahead and do that. There you go, Tim does it again. So as you can see, I've overlaid it and I turn it off. And because we've used that transparent input, it's all of the uh, functionality from the transitions and everything will work as I need it to. Okay, so let's try that again. So I'm gonna overlay that, channel one. There we go, and it appears in my production. So I'm gonna show you another example of how you might wanna use this. I'm going to add a video file into this production here. I'm gonna to go to add input. I'm gonna find a video file. This Wallaby one here will do. Click okay. Now let's just say I've got my, an overlay channel. Let's go number two and we'll make it a picture in picture. So I'm just gonna go and put that up here, like so, click okay. So now anything I put in channel two will be a picture in picture. So as you remember, my vMix uh, for my tutorial still has that overlay channel set up, so it's already on number one. So whatever I pump through from the laptop will appear uh, as a full screen overlay in vMix. So I'm gonna select two, which will picture in picture this on my laptop, and then overlay that into vMix. So I can go like this, and as you can see, I now have a Wallaby video being played with Alpha via NDI over the network. So this current method that I have set up still requires someone to be pushing this title live, like overlaying it from this laptop. However, you could use a script or perhaps use a companion or something like that if you wanted to control it all from your main vMix production. So that's how you can send Alpha NDI over the network from vMix. Uh, if you want to know some more information, check out the help guide that I have listed below. Now, if you are using this in any way or if you're using Alpha NDI, feel free to drop us a comment. Let us know how you're using it, maybe what other software or hardware you're using it with and that type of thing. So always interested to hear how people are using different things in vMix, even if it's a little part of vMix or the full amount of vMix. So if you do have any questions or support, please send through a, an email via the support page on vMix.com. Thanks for watching and we will stream you later.